Hey, this is Anthony from Absolute TV. You can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Revit Kryptonite GTX glove available at Revzilla.com. Standing on the success and the shoulders of what we considered a great glove in the Carver, this is the Kryptonite GTX. Now the Carver is going to be just over $100, it's going to be waterproof short cuff. This is now a beefed up Gore-Tex version, taking that next leap from Revit. When I think about seasonality for this glove, I'm thinking about two to three season cold weather, city, sport, shorter jaunt, commuter. Again, not a full gauntlet. So again, if you're caught in rainstorms for hours on end, it's going to give you a bit of a gap in protection here. But if you want something rock solid that has the benefits of Gore-Tex, that's gonna look great and match with a lot of different styles, this could be spot on. And remember, if you're new to buying motorcycle gloves for wet weather and you're new to Gore-Tex, Gore-Tex is the gold standard. It's completely mother nature and waterproof, but it allows your hand to breathe. So if you start to sweat, that perspiration goes out through the membrane and allows you to stay the most comfortable. Many membranes on the market, Gore-Tex is the gold standard as the third party. And keep in mind too, the kryptonite's gonna be Gore plus grip. So it's kind of that extra fit where the Gore membrane is bonded to the insulation, bonded to the outer shell. There's no multi layers of movement going on here. That's the big selling feature. Now, quick note on fitment. I'm wearing a size extra large from Revit. It's a textile glove. Again, there's a little bit of stretch baked in here, but keep in mind, I wear about a large in an Icon, a large in a First Gear. I'm an XL in a Revit. It's gonna, in my opinion, this glove is part of their new line fit between American and Euro, so I tend to go up. I'm going to err on the Euro side, which is one size larger than its American counterpart from another brand. Keep in mind, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. and as always, I'd love it if you click our logo, subscribe to us at RevZilla TV, leave me your comments, your questions, and your feedback on the new Kryptonite GTX, part of their new glove line. Now, some of the other standout features here as we work our way through, before I dive into the nuance, it's a touch tech finger, which is going to allow you to work on an iPhone or another multi-touch screen device. You can see there's synthetic material right along the, the tip of the index and the thumb. That's a really nice touch. And again, the big other thing that I really like here is they've updated the knuckle with that new trionic style. So still hard shell protection, but it's molded a little bit better, a little bit of increased coverage here. Still a great protection scheme or reflective scheme tying it back together. Again, rock solid in its design. Now, some of the nuance of the glove as we work our way through the rest, notice is a knit cuff. It's gonna be that shorter cuff. If you want a full double cuff that goes all the way back with a similar feature set, check out the Taurus GTX. That's gonna put you into that $200 range. Working our way down the glove, you're gonna see that you have a basic Revit twill, which is a motorcycle fabric with a, with a decent denier in the back, and you have your Revit logo worked into your reflectivity. But as you get now into the mid hand, into the fingers, is actually going to be PowerShell stretch ripstop. So this textile is gonna be a little bit more dynamic. It's going to move with you. It's PowerShell, which means it's a specifically manufactured material by Revit, it's proprietary. And then you have that ripstop, which allows you if you scuff it or if you cut it or rip it over time, that micro rip stop means that that stretch or that rip's not going to run on you. We talked about the knuckle already, which is one of my favorite things that they've updated across their glove line. And then again, mid-digitally, you have great elastication, allowing for range of motion. They gave you some extra pops of protection on the top of the knuckles of your finger. And then notice, the goat skin on this glove is going to wrap all the way around the palm onto the fingers, and it's going to cap each one off. So again, you're getting that to keep it together to give you better longevity. Now, as I rotate around, you're going to see the inside of the index finger, that medial side. That's your visor wiper slash snot patch for colder weather riding. Again, great under your nose, but great to squeegee off your shield as well. And they did that here. That's a nice upgrade. Remember, you're spending here for a glove premium components. It is a short cuff, but it is pretty technical and it's getting north of that $150 mark. As we rotate our thumb over, notice you're going to get another area of protection on the ball of the thumb or on the thumb knuckle here. And then into the palm, it becomes pretty basic. It's a box finger construction. It's going to be goat skin throughout, which has a great feel to it, great tactile response. We talked about the fact that the index and thumb are going to have that touch tech element. A little bit of contrast stitching here in the fingers just to offset it. And they did give you at the heel of the hand a nice temper foam length landing area. So it's not what you consider a basic foam. It definitely has a memory quality to it. It's definitely dense. You can see how that ties in with your wrist adjuster here. And you have your Gore-Tex logo as you work your way down. The other thing to keep in mind is the Kryptonite actually has a lightweight Finsulate G 
fill in it. So it does have a light insulation. A lot of times we'll see Gore-Tex, they'll be like two season for fall and spring riding. I give this that two to three season wintertime rating because there is a light insulation worked in with the Gore-Tex liner that you do feel and is going to create a good deal of retention around the heat working within the Gore-Tex liner and the outer shell. Any nitpicks I might have on this glove is for longer distance Gore-Tex needed riding, a little bit longer is gonna give you better waterproofing, but really that's not this glove. That's the big brother that's gonna give you that full cuff design and maybe give me a little more seam capture here on the lateral side. All in though, as part of the new Revit Glove collection, very happy with the upgrades they've made. Big step up over the Carver in the line. Again, the Carver is going to have Hydrotex, which is not going to be as waterproof, breathable, and comfortable as your Gore-Tex or your Gore with grip liner that's moving on here. Remember, if you want to go full cuff, look at that Taurus. The next step in your journey is to click the info button to learn more read other rider reviews of the Kryptonite GTX. You don't have to take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to me on the YouTubes. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.